Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time watching then welcome. If you are new and you like this video please make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos in the future from me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this simple purple look. Uh, it's actually kind of a lilac look. It does look very similar to another tutorial that I posted a few months ago but it actually looks different in real life. The lighting that I've got going on today, it seems to be reflecting off of the shimmer that I've got on the eyelid and making it seem lighter than it actually is. So um, yeah, you guys will see in the photo that <clears throat> what it actually looks like and hopefully this is still a good video so that you can see how to actually do the look. For this look, I have used my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette and I know what you guys are probably thinking, and that's, does this girl have any other palettes? Um, well, yes, but I just love this one so much that I've been using it a lot lately. And I wanted to do something a bit more simple in comparison to uh, the cut crease videos that I've put up in the past using this palette. So that is what today's video is all about. Now, I'll give you a little look, just so you can see. I use the purple in this palette. And you can't see, but it looks like that in real life, but you just can't see. So, yeah, hopefully you guys still like the video. It's also a bit of a shorter video, so if you have less time, you can still watch it. Um, I do want to try and do a few more shorter videos, just to make it easier for you guys to keep up with all of them. So, yeah, let me know if you like these simple looks, and I can do a lot more for you guys. But uh, otherwise, I will just do whatever I feel like doing, I suppose. Let's get on with the tutorial then, shall we? Because I am trying to keep this short and sweet. So if you would like to see how I created this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so I've got my face makeup and my eyebrows done. And the first step that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my P. Louise base and this is in the shade Rumor Zero and I'm just going to use this to prime my eyes. Alright, so we've got the base down. Now the next step is to add in a transition shade. So I'm going to be taking this shade here which is called Gumdrop and I'm popping that on a fluffy blending brush and I'm just applying this to the crease and blending it outwards. Now that we've got the transition shade down, I'm going to move on to the next step and that is to take this shade here which is called Bite Me and popping it on this all over shader brush and just applying this all over the eyelid and blending it up into the crease. And I'm going to go back in with the transition shade afterwards just to blend them out a little bit better. So I've got that eyeshadow on and blended out a bit and now what I'm going to do is because it's not blended too well around here I'm just taking a clean uh, blending brush and I'm just going to use that to blend that out just a little bit more. Alright and that is the top of the eyes complete. So now we need to smoke out the lower lash line. So using those same two colours, but I'm going to switch to these two pencil brushes. So I'm going to use this one for the transition shade and this one for the darkest purple and I'm going to lay the transition shade down first. Next I'm going to be adding on some eyeliner and I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner 
and I'm just going to be doing a small line just to help disguise my fake eyelashes when I put them on and this is something that I do pretty much every time I just think it helps a lot uh, especially if you don't end up getting your lashes right on your lash line it can just help it look a bit better Now for my highlighter, I'm going to be taking my Lime Crime Mermaids highlight and I'm going to be taking this shade here which is called Seashell and I'm going to be applying this to my tear duct, my brow bone, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow and my cheekbone. Uh, so for the majority of that I'm going to be using this small eyeshadow brush and then for my cheekbones I'm going to be using this fluffy blending brush. My camera's not picking it up, but this is actually a purple highlighter. It's reflecting just white though, which is very interesting. On my lips, I'm going to be using my Lime Crime Lip Blaze, and this is in the shade Cash. This is just my favorite nude. I've been using it for every look that I do lately. I just love it. Okay, that is pretty much the look complete. Last thing I need to do is just pop on some mascara and some lashes. So the lashes that I'm going to be using are these ones by EXO Beauty. They're foam ink lashes and these... Whoops, this always happens. <laughs> these, are, uh, these ones are in the style... <sighs> these are in the style Thunder. And I'm going to pop these on off camera and I'll be back to show you guys the completed look. Okay, so here we have the completed look with lashes. Um, so I am really like this look. I am a little bit disappointed because on the camera you can't actually see how it looks in real life. So that that is an idea of what it looks like but it really does not look like that. And I will be able to show you a photo if I can get one uh, that it actually does look a lot better. I think because it's such a dark day and I've got my lighting turned up that it's actually kind of drowning out. The color so on the lid is actually quite uh, dark so it basically looks just like how it looks in the pan on the eye but it must be because of the shimmer as well it's reflecting off of it but yeah uh, super effective and also super easy I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to do something a little bit shorter and more simple for you guys. So let me know if you guys like these simple ones or I will go back to doing um, my more technical looks because I do really enjoy doing those. But yeah, if you did like this video, then please thumbs up and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you don't ever miss any videos from me. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.